Welcome back everyone. Um, I'm doing a video on my 3D printer. Now my YouTube channel is about general electronics or I've done a lot of videos about thermoelectric cooling and this is about a 3D printer. Uh, pretty much everything I want to do involves 3D printing but I don't have a 3D printer. Now I can outsource getting uh, the printing done but I thought I would buy one myself. Now in New Zealand, they're ridiculously expensive 3D printers. Uh, they start about 900 bucks, and that would be for a tiny one. Uh, I think it's mainly because of the import all the way up here. So I bought one of these off of AliExpress, and I went for the Tron XY X3, uh, mainly because it had the aluminium extrusion supports, and of course it was affordable because you have to put it together yourself. Now. I'm quite aware that a lot of people have problems with the the axis on this machine, how much play it has in it. And I was quite concerned about this, so I've watched every video there is about assembling a Tronix Y, and I um, was prepared for making a number of changes to resolve that. So before I talk about that, I, I would say that I did have the problems that everyone else had, but they weren't problems to me because I was aware of them. So firstly, the screws that go in here, they are very close to the size of the hole. So I got a whole bunch of 4mm washers and put them under there. And two of these have had the little nicks or indentations ground off and they're for this one and this one. And as they say in the instructions, that's only apparent when you come to put these two on, but you've already put the other four on and you have to take it apart. Um, I have added 25mm M5 washers on the top to help with stability, uh, which I would recommend, and I would suggest you get normal M5s to go on here and here, which I haven't for this video. However, uh, I have seen many videos and many people complaining about how floppy this whole lot is. However, I didn't have that problem at all, to the point of... that up against some brownness so hopefully you can see it. I'm stacking that hard and that is rock solid. Now it is possible that I've got a different version of the Tron XY X3 and that's why I don't have this problem but I don't think so. I think it's that because people are not assembling it correctly. For example this is one and here is another one. What I think this comes down to is, uh, does a 4mm cylinder fit through a 4mm hole? One would think the answer is yes, but the answer is actually no, they don't fit because they are exactly the same size. So what happens is, you have a, this is a 4mm screw, but it's actually 3.81 millimeters. So it's less than 4mm, and this is the 4mm hole, and it is, come on, it is 4.54. So there's obviously a certain amount of play in the hole. Now it's actually quite small, but it is enough. So if you just assemble this on the rail which is kind of I think how you probably do this people probably bolt one side on and bolt the other side while it's on the rail then you'll have a lot of play in this so what I've done with this one here is you need to push all the wheels together right against the pole well you don't put the pole through when you assemble it you don't put the pole through it you push all the screws together, so there's this one this way, and these ones this way, then do it up. And I had to get a socket, and a family member to hold that while I screwed this up. Then once it was all pushed together, I put it on. And that's how you go from mega crazy play, to no play whatsoever. Uh, something else I did notice is that some of these uh, rails actually had scratches on the inside in here. 
It seems hard to believe that they've actually managed to scratch the inside of this down here, on this one. So I did have to rotate these round to find out which one didn't have the scratches, because obviously the wheels were on that rail, and any little mark will prevent it from rolling. So that's my early thoughts on this. Uh, I haven't had any missing bolts, and I don't have any play to speak of. I'll just turn that around. It does slide. I would suggest that most people's are crazy untight. Or oh, I think the word is loose, isn't it? So what I did is when I took the, I took this all off, obviously, and then I put this edge on the bench, and then I pushed these against the bench, these ones, then screwed them all up with the socket and the screw. Then I swapped it round, put this edge on the on the um, bench, and I pushed these down, and then screwed them up on, and then slid them over. And there is no play in that. Well, I mean, there obviously is, but I'm smacking it pretty hard, and there's no way that, in a normal circumstances, that you would ever have that applied to it. So I'm actually surprisingly disappointed, to be honest. I thought I was going to have to spend ages printing different carriages and bits and bobs everywhere to fix the play which everyone complains about but I'm like uh, what for? it's fine cool hopefully that's helped guys I may do another one if another one is required or I've got some other thoughts I probably will have one at the end but at this point that's my thoughts on the play see you later guys don't forget to subscribe pop us a like uh, for the people that are here about Tronics Y, I have a YouTube channel about thermoelectric cooling, which is this channel. So you might find that interesting. Thanks guys, bye bye.